Three, two, one, go. All right, so we kind of did our reset run last time, so we're just gonna keep it casual this time. Just keep it simple. Don't do reset strats. But yeah, wow, that's all it took. Lucky money. Because I won't deny, I mean, anytime you get a record in this game, there's a luck factor. No one had a run that went world that went PB. That. <laughs> So, you know how I said we were doing, let's do it simple this time? I lied. <laughs> Oop. Found the top. Oop, accidentally injured myself. Maybe do some segment for timer to track milestones? Ah, that would make sense. Just at least one to say, hey, this is my current this is the current pace I'm facing. That'd be a good idea. Cause yeah, I'm just doing it to make sure people know how far into the run I am, but I realize that doesn't mean much if they don't know what I'm up against. Unless they've been here before. Found book. Alright, found access Monday. And then we need to find Dash Heirloom, which oh Dash Heirloom is gonna be fun with these fists. As in, I have no idea what I'm doing, and it's going to be hilarious as you watch me get my face, kick my own teeth in a dozen times or so. Alright. Yeah, put PB on world record on screen. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, drop the meat. I was expecting at least one more platform there. Alright. Cannot kick fast enough to get there. Alright. Beautiful. Fantastic. Gonna get myself killed at this rate. Alright, guy, I hope that above me is what I'm looking for. When a seagull hit kills you from your own weapon, it becomes scary to attack like that. Alright. Turns out it's literally directly below me. It will become quite helpful. You'll know which segment is lacking. I will state it was right here the entire time. Um, I will state that it's kind of hard to tell. Like, there's no... There's definitely no segments that I can do. Um, because here's the issue. We don't actually control, like... A, a lot of it is um, kind of adapting to variants. 
So if I make like segment timers, everyone will compare it to the, you know, the best possible, which will have all the good times. But when in actuality, there will be times where I have a good run, but it's not, it doesn't look good at certain phases because I like spent the time here to, and I made up for it here sort of thing. It just doesn't work out. Thank you, 8-8-er, 5-4, 8 8 I'm, there's a problem with bots, so whenever I see a lot of numbers, I get a little worried, but I'll trust that 8 8 or you're a real person. I'll trust you on that. Yeah, there's no set path. That's another theme. Um, we have paths that are fast, that are optimal, but you can't always use them, because, like, your first character dies in Kirkwell and Plateau, then the Sun Tower path doesn't make sense. You know, that sort of stuff. So because of the pathing issues, because of the issue with like, pa both there's no set path and there's no, and like timers are very variable, um, it makes it very, like we, I used to do splits and it just became, like the splits meant nothing. That was the issue. The splits began to mean absolutely nothing. And it was no different than just keep track of a single timer as we are doing now. Yeah, I'm hopeful you're not a boss too, Aider. Thank you for be thank you for being by. I apologize if I can't attack him when he's doing that. He found a counter. You have checkpoints you need to do, abilities and bosses. There are many ram things, but checkpoints are the same. But I don't do it in the same order, and I don't and when I do the checkpoints in different orders, what might happen isn't this was five minutes, this one's six minutes, now I did it in a different order. Now this one's seven minutes, this one's three. And what happens is at the end it's the same time. At the end they all end up racking the same. But because it's like I found this checkpoint, but I didn't enter it, I didn't use it, um it ends up not working out. We, I, as I said, I use the checkpoints of the bosses, the heirlooms. I've used that as areas. Like, it doesn't work. Checkpoints don't make too much sense. Unless you have, like, a desired route that, like, you're trying to force. And I don't, like, that works if you're, like, resetting to make sure you get optimal. But I don't do that. So, like, yeah. Thanks for the suggestion, Genovis. But we have, but, like... There, in addition, I don't, I do the timer so that other people could follow. I definitely think there is a good point of show my PB, show my average, show my, um, the world record, but I don't want to get this timer complex. I made the timer complex before and it did not fare well. different animations for throwing the fireball. It's cool. Alright. Gonna be a lot of kicking.
Like of her. Dwarven lockpicks all around. Yeah. PB world record, I agree. That is worth taking the time to set up. Um... But yeah, the checkpoints we did I did try before, and it just doesn't work for the way I run. Um, if I was forcing a route and resetting when I couldn't pull it off, um, it would make sense to have those checkpoints, but that's not what I do. I go with what I'm given, and I'm okay if that means I get unoptimal routes at times, and I have to just live with it. Alright. Ooh. But it's so funny. One run I thought was doing amazing, and then I choked, and I felt really bad, because even though it was PB, and then the next day I get a PB, and it starts out, and it's going really bad, and then I just do fantastically at the end. I do believe in this file, and this time, I have not gotten any good equipment yet, so... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I still need to be opening doors to get equipment. Or opening chests. Like, I don't have leather weapon, I don't have leather cape, I don't have scholar... I definitely don't have scholar cape, and I definitely don't have scholar or warden weapon. Definite nose on those. I expected I'd go under it. I think that's correct. No equipment. Okay, yeah. I, I realize it's not your job to keep track of my equipment. I do appreciate you trying to confirm it with me. Um, I'm just like, well, I'm not the only one watching this. Might as well take advantage of that. Uh, all right. One weapon where them splitting paths could actually be considered a positive. That was my fault. What am I doing? Definitely when you're used to fight facing these bosses with a sword, switching to explosive fists is not the most comfortable theme. Oh, 
I watched some runners in Dark Souls, and they reset every time when the timer shows plus three to five seconds, and they don't move further, just third or fourth boss. Yep. Yeah, don't worry about your English. As long as you're understood, that's all I care about. And so, yeah. So, Dark Souls runners, I also... Yeah, a lot of runners, when you're doing an hour-long run, um, being a few seconds behind and just basically saying, all right, from here on out, I can't really deal with... I can't really improve on that. Kind of just kind of kills the run. But... So, like, I basically made a promise to myself that I'd do these runs for fun first and for glory second. And therefore, one of the rules is that I don't reset the run. So, if we get to a point where I have to reset the run to feel like I'm doing anything significant, then it's time to stop. Well, yep. Fair enough. It was me switching the gloves out that was the issue there, buddy. Spelunker Diva. Very scary but very fancy. In case you're wondering, the reason why I went D.Va is because D.Va has access to this healthcare benefit, so I'm going to get a lot more additional gold with it. It is good because we're going to get gold penalty, and we are heading into the next area where I still I still need more gold. Is basically the theme. I still need more gold. And this D.Va can get me more gold. Alright. Really quick, confirm that there's no good weapons. Nope, everything's garbage. Alright, just double check the spreadsheet. The knight, sword, katana, lance, and gloves all have the same strength scaling. Ah, so those gloves didn't even increase my damage, it just increased my distance. Beautiful. Well done, me. Well done. So, in Kindle Gauntlets are always a mistake, then. Always a mistake. At least you, I know now. So, yeah. So, to maintain my gold gain while locking down the castle, I get to have this nice little shiner in my face. Notice that any trap, any like spike filled hazards or things like that aren't shown. So I can, like, fall into a trap without... Oh, I can't shut this off because I don't have book yet. In case anyone's wondering, that's the purpose of book, generally speaking. Okay, let's at least present ourselves from a higher area so we don't have to climb as high. At least. Easy way out. Bad route. Yep, only benefit of the gloves is the 6% damage blessing and the like the easy ease of skill crits. Ease of skill crits only works when the enemy's like at a distance. And sometimes you make a mistake and you get you blast your face off, as we saw. Well, Truly a fantastic route today. But we got Scholar Cape! I should note that for all that detour... Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't even find a single Lily. Well, we found one. Beautiful. Found a maw, that's good. Or I have to take that just because I don't want to die. Beautiful. It's okay. Alright. Well, it's a good thing that once we enter these insights, the route is given to us. Like, it maintains consistency in here. 
Because otherwise... Uh. Here. Made a mistake. I accidentally kicked instead of jumped. Alright. But yeah, you can tell if you had D.Va and didn't know the route you were going, this would be quite the penalty. Unless you get a good Valk, then it might be worth, since Valk weapon is bad damage. Hmm. Everyone remember when Valk was considered to be broken? Uh, I do. When everyone was like saying it needed nerfs, and then it got its nerfs, and now no one plays it, as far as I understand. Alright, got my lilies. I'm not sure if I can even face them all with this character. Okay. So we're opening Namah's door. Can we face Namah with a character that can't see? I think the answer is no. A good weapon. The Seed Study has a lot, uh, a lot of its traps are enemies that um, don't attack you. Therefore, I feel safer in here than facing the Ma, I say, as I take damage. To be fair, it was light damage, but it was damage. Found Murmur already. What am I doing? All right. Right we go. Oh my gosh. That came just in time. Alright. Now I'm wondering if we just face them all because it's the most, like, cost-effective thing to do at this rate. Alright. Ooh. We're at level 20. But we have, like, no money. Let's see. <sighs> Ooh, I can actually grab this.
Yeah, I think I need the money from um, Naman not being... I think if I die and then face them all, I'm going to have some other issues. I'm just worrying if it, like, losing this character causes enough additional issues. Yeah, I think it, that's it. I face them all, I grab the book. I think first I try to go up because Enoch could still be anywhere, so I should explore this side, which I just did. Cool. Alright. Now we face them all. And I think there's no way that this character is... It's like, there's no way this character is facing Enoch, but there's even less way that this character is facing the Sun Tower with this blind, much blindness. This character is basically blind with blind sight as an ability. So yeah, that was the problem there. That attack right there. That I managed to narrowly avoid. Also, I can't really mess around too much because there are always projectiles off screen that I can't see. Yeah, I didn't know which direction those... So this could come from three different directions. And I had no... The queue is the same for all of them, as far as I can tell. So... That's the main fear of them off. Attack where if I miss the entry view. But yeah, you can see why being effectively unable to see is a major detriment against Nama. But if I use the next character. I'm going to end up with, um, yeah, if I use the next character, they'd get half the gold, so I still stand by my decision. Question is, do I grab book, or do I continue facing Enoch? I think I grab book. Can't face Murmur with this character. Good luck with Gollum Heads. It just suddenly comes to realization how tough of a trait D.Va can be when you get it in its poor situations.
Alright. Well, we're at good health. I think we actually face gone heads with this character. You hear that? We're gonna find okay, so we're gonna find Enoch and then we're gonna face gone heads. Alright, I think that's the plan. I thought I got hit there. Ooh, I was just going here to get some safety. I can't even take that. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave these for the next character, because this character... ...beats up gone heads at max. At most. Alright, well, if you find this, it's worth its time. That's what I remember, at least. Might be incorrect now. I guess Enoch was under the insight. Pretty rare for Enoch not to be at the very top. Doing that to be safe. There we go. One's gone. Alright, yeah, I can't think of anything else this character can really do, so I'm going to pop this open and retire. Because it can't fight Murmur, it can't, if it can't fight Murmur, it can't beat Enoch, it's not climbing the Sun Tower, not a chance. Alright. Well, this is a good character to replace it, let me tell you that much. Hold up. Let me get my weapon. Surprising. All right. Well, this character does need to get some some decent gold. So, well, I want to take this character and just go straight up to um, straight up to to ball. I think it is correct that I kill Enoch with this character pri prioritized. This character needs to make a certain amount of money. Because we're still at level 22. And we need to get to level 31 before the end of this. Looks like we're going to get another unlock is my guess. Oop.
Nah, it's a silver chest. I shouldn't have gone back for it. Yep, find a weapon that doesn't matter anymore. Good weapon, generally speaking, but not best weapon, and best weapon is currently in my hands. Alright, second best weapon. Best weapon is extremely rare to find. Oh my gosh. Threw it the wrong way. You could stop with that. You could stop with that. I asked politely. Don't you have manners, Murmur? Alright. I think I took a little damage. The meat does not fully heal from it, but is notable. In case you're wondering, that long pause is why we usually skip that cutscene. I just felt like going back for the gold could actually be worthwhile. And I want the chance at meat here, which I got. With that second meat, I would say I'm fully recovered. So I should be at full health again. And full health is enough to take, like, it's like 220. Something of that nature. I'd also like to note that I have no way of knowing whenever my blocks are perfect block or imperfect because it will still show the question mark. Well, my only way of knowing is just being confident in the fact that I do perfect blocks. Damage is awesome because we have Warden Weapon. Skull Cube doesn't help this character much, but that's because of their weapon. Or their spell. Alright, that's like 80 damage. I could survive, like, one more hit from Enoch here, and one hit from something in the Sticky and Steady. I'm going to play as if that's the assumption. I think I could survive more than that, but it's best to play under the assumption you survive less, and just get happily surprised when you survive a hit that you shouldn't. taken care of. Alright. 2,000 enough? Probably not. So I'm gonna take a look here, but the chances are we're gonna have to reset the castle to get the money we need. So I just wanted to check. Resetting will be good for us. Um, the one good spot is at the very bottom. We have the key and the door for the pearl right next to each other. But other than that, we want to reset. 
So that makes me... The fact that we're going to have to reset suddenly becomes a positive. Alright. Let's look at our route here. So it's... Right. Oh, God. We have a bad route here as well. I'll take this as a security, though I think I'm at full health. I'm just not taking the damage. That's just basically the gist of that decision. Oh yeah, I can't really use the map except for overarching ideas. All right, they're rotating the correct direction. That's this one. All right. All right, fairy chest. Up, right, left, up. Gosh, such a bad route routing for me. This one goes to the top, I believe. Oh. We made it to the top, everyone. I think we have enough health to actually pull it off. Alright. Well... Despite our bad route, seems like while there were bad rooms, everyone was short enough that I ended up okay. Also, cartographer is amazing. Bad timing for the freeze frame. Alright. Well, assume next hit kills. Might not, but we assume it does. keep getting characters with enough gold gain that it says, hey, why don't we just keep going? Why stop? Honestly, I'm really happy with the characters we've been getting, keeping my, keeping my survivability up, allowing me to basically keep doing this despite the massive gold loss. Alright. 
So if we go to the Passion Dry Lake, we're basically beeline for the bottom of the lake. Which makes me consider resetting, depending on the situation. Anyways, this is not looking like PB, but let's keep it around an hour and an hour ten. Because I think I can do that now. I think I've done it. I've gone consistently enough that I can do that. So. If anyone's wondering, holding it for those last additional seconds guarantees that those last hits are always critical hits, which obviously increases damage. So. I'm really lucky that didn't go horribly south. Ooh, hey, worst case scenario. Now just don't do it again for 10 seconds. They've once done it twice in a row, and that just, when they do that twice in a row, it just GG's, I guess. It is possible to dodge, I have done it before, but it's not easy by any means. Yeah, okay, so I'm at full health. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go downstairs. Try to get the silver key. So we just basically pick up the keys as we run into them. Because we're gonna pick up the um, Onyx key as we go to the... Yeah, I'm gonna very easily pick up the Onyx key while I go towards the way of the onyx door and I'm going to very easily pick up the so yeah that right there is the onyx key we do that just to keep ourselves safe alright onyx door is that one down into our right there Should have just taken the spike damage. Oh well. And yeah, no, I haven't. I didn't optimize my routing for this section. Turns out we're supposed to just go straight down after we get the key. Back to the entry room and down. Well, that's a way to lose some health. Well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. But yeah, that... This was not the route I thought I saw. Wow.
This is the only route, and as you can tell, it doesn't really get us closer to anything. It actually pulls us away. Thank you, Apple. And yeah, I didn't memorize anything beyond which rooms were which. Alright, hey, Apple. Okay, there's a lot of apples here. That's a positive. I'm not going back for the apple, but it's good to note that there's a lot of apples here. Alright, when we can get this room first, that's a little concerning, but also at least we got this room first. Alright, we're done with that one. Let's open the doors. And no, we are not facing it with this character. I'm a vegan. I forgot. Oh yeah, whoops, I guess me is murder. <laughs> Now below us is a nice little teleport. Awesome. And this is the power of the character. Or of the area. Oh, I didn't even open the door. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't leave yet. Three seconds on the charge still. Alright. So now we just pop we just break the people down. Alright. Not the best for this fight, but they have insane health. Alright. Cheat strats. There we go. And now we have a good character for the fight. Just barely got enough money, everyone. Just barely got enough money. Had to go cheap strats even to pull it off. Ah, forgot to buy one purchase. Alright, now we can maintain the castle lock. And, well, that seemed unfortunate. The fact is we knew exactly where everything was. So, it ended up panning out just fine. Alright, and 247 health is perfectly fine for the mini-bosses. It's when I get to the final boss that that's a concern. Keep taking damage, I don't need to. Darn. Well, we took all the damage we didn't need to. And thank goodness for Hyperion's Ring then.
Because if we didn't have Hyperion's Reen, we'd be dead. And we wouldn't have gone that kill. I'm staying here because we're closer to the next door. It's funny, I assess this as a bad route, but it seems to be just peachy. Even decently close to the next door. It is quite the dangerous walk from the entrance, but we're not the entrance, boy. Use that, I just don't want to deal with that right now. Yeah, now that I know that I can just stand firm on that, that helps. And yeah, I just don't want to deal with that attack whenever I can help it. They each have two attacks, and one of the attacks is one I don't want to deal with whenever I can avoid it. So... have the lock so it's actually better to pop this open and then reset the character awesome wow if this character is consistent then that's another sub hour vegan and paranoid don't really matter and tesla spike is a good spell for this all right well then. And to think, if the last one wasn't a PB, this looks like it would be a PB. How amazing is that? Think, I guess I got over whatever block was blocking me. Well, I guess there is one theme worth noting. I'm saying this with confidence that I'm killing to ball on this life. And that's something I wasn't saying before. That's a change. And that's a good change. That's a very good change. Best idea, but we're alive.
I made a stupid mistake there, and I didn't get punished for it. Feels good. There we go. Yep. And if the last one was in PV, this would have been. That's how awesome. Oh, man. This also sub an hour. We're getting the hand of fiends. Whatever we didn't get last time, we figured out now. That's good. That's really, really good. We are now sub hour boys. 55, 59. Not even bad sub hours. Like, really solid sub hours, man. Thank you very much, Lady Beatrix. Really appreciate your work out there. Did well. Did well. Ha. <sighs> Wow. Sometimes you need money, sometimes you don't. All right. Very nice runs today. Yeah, these were amazing runs today. These were amazing runs today.